follows is my own definition. You can tear me apart for it, but this is what I look for. First thing is, what's first, people or data? If it's built around data, not people, as in the data structures, it's probably not social software. Not exclusively, but it's an interesting one. Where do people fit in here? Does it acknowledge the fact that people have relationships with each other? If it doesn't, it's probably not social software. Does it acknowledge the social element, that people have relationships with each other? The second thing is, is it taught or is it learned? And this is what really sucks about most enterprise software, for legitimate reasons. The first expenses system that I used, I had to go on a one week training course to learn to use it. That's normal. Okay? There's software out there. Uh, uh, Salesforce.com do some fantastic and wonderful things and have some really interesting software. Cool. Look at their training catalog. It's at 12 weeks of training to use the CRM system fully. How many people here have been on the Facebook training course? Oh, you missed that one too. Um, how many people here have been on the Flickr training course? Oh, you missed that one too. Uh, on the Twitter training course? <laughs> is it learnt or is it taught? Because if you have to teach people how to use it, in my definition, it is broken. Okay? And then I need the third one, don't I? Because things always come to freeze. Um, is it actually going to make a difference to the organisation or is it simply doing something you're already doing? Okay. Because again, a lot of time what comes in is really just doing what you're already doing but with some pretty icons around it. Is it doing something disruptively different? Because there's no point changing an IT system for the sake of it. You know that, thank 